Hey YouTube, uh, Striker5570 here again, and uh, here's just a quick update on uh, what I'm working on on the printer today. Um, before I show you what I'm doing with the printer on its side, um, yesterday I uh, finished, well it's not on the printer yet so it's not quite done, uh, but this is going to be the Z gantry. Um, it'll be over on this plane right here. Um, I got these printed and the uh, lead screw nut holders in place. Um, their distance isn't uh, set yet, but uh, I got those in place and I have the T-nuts in here ready for the uh, bed to go in here, um, which uh, I haven't printed the uh, bed supports quite yet. Um, well, I, I just printed the bed supports, but not the uh, brackets to hold the extrusions on here yet. So anyways, that's that, but really what I'm here to show you how to do is um, how to properly tap the holes in the end of your extrusions. Um, uh, I find this way to be the most effective in how to get an accurate, consistent, um, and aligned hole in each of your uh, holes, because uh, there are several areas on your printer that you need to uh, tap holes into like up here you need to put um, here and here on this extrusion you need um, those taps so these screws can go into them um, but uh, I kind of left this for last because uh, I wasn't exactly sure how sturdy it's going to be but you see there's a lot of flex in the printer since all the parts are made out of uh, plastic in my case PLA uh, there is quite a bit of flex in the printer as is um, so right now I'm printing out 3x3 um, three three brackets to go on the bottom four corners. Um, so I need to tap uh, these ones. I've already tapped this one, um, then I realized I should probably film this for you guys. Um, so I have my phone in a clamp in a small vise, uh, so it's not a tripod, but it should work for this video. So now what you'll need is a just scrap piece of a uh, aluminum or whatever you find it's soft steel or whatever but it, ne it needs to be metal um, you could maybe use a piece of plastic um, maybe a piece of like nylon or something like that or whatever you got laying around and you're going to want to drill a hole in it that's big enough for your M5 tap to slide right through like that or just, it's the same size as your M5 screw. Um, so, if you want a measurement on that, you can measure it. Uh, 200, 204 thou, and that's 5.16 millimeters. Alright, so. Um, I don't have any cutting fluid. I'm in my dorm over here um, on campus, but uh, some WD-40 will work just fine. So we're going to be tapping this hole right here. So we're just going to put a little squirt of that. Then you're going to want to take your block, put your tap in the block, and you want to line up the tap into the hole, and then press the block firmly against um, your extrusion so that way you know it's square you're making the hole essentially square to the extrusion so I'm just checking to make sure I'm in frame before I start doing this and you're just going to want to hold the block against the extrusion and if your parts aren't already attached uh, to the rest of the printer like mine are um, um, if you could put them in a mill vise or just some sort of padded vise so you don't damage the finish on the extrusions, um, that would make it a lot easier than trying to do these um, for say like in your lap or on a desk. You need to have them clamped down. Like this isn't as secure as a vise but it works. So this is only a two flute uh, tap so you want to do it once you do a whole turn you want to back it off to break the chip and uh, 
These screws don't have to go very far in here, so you don't have to tap very far. Um, they're only going to go like a uh, quarter inch in here, so I believe I've done that. So you can see the chips on there. But um, you just get a rag, clean it off. Now what you're left with here is, hold on, if I can get this to focus here. I have no idea though, if you can see that very well. But you want to take a mill file, because um, you're going to have a burr around the hole that you just, because um, you're essentially, you're not only cutting, but you're, you're pressing the metal outward into the shape of the thread. So you're going to have a little bit of a burr on the outside. And you're going to want to take a file, press it against the end of the extrusion, and just carefully take off that burr. This assures you that um, your plate that you're going to put on here um, sits flat. And um, then you can take a rag of some sort here and just blow it out and then you want to take a M5 bolt and just make sure that it threads in which this threads in quite nicely yep and uh, I haven't tested the other hole I made yet but uh boom perfect so anyways that's how I choose to tap my extrusions um, so you can tap them however you like, however I think this method works best. Um, and I did this with just a small aluminum block and your M5 tap. Um, if you don't have an M5 tap, you can get a pack of them for like 10 bucks on Amazon. You can get a tap handle for like another $4. Um, it's a good investment. You should probably get a whole entire tap set. Um, I use them all the time for re-threading things. Um, so anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, I will keep you guys updated on uh, the rest of my build.